Hey guys, it's Kai from Lucas Land of Royals. Hope you're doing well. This is going to be another feeding video, so fair warning, there will be a live feeding. Alright, so like I said, this is a feeding video. Basically, I'm doing this to close the loop on two of my previous videos that I uploaded. One of them being um, how to size the prey, so how to size the appropriate prey for your snake. And I showed different prey items feeding to different snakes, um, ranging from using prey that are fuzzy rats all the way up to small rats. And um, basically in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, feeding medium-sized rats to large snakes. The other video I had posted was of um, assist feeding. So in that video, there was a pastel hatchling that I had to assist feed, and now she is able to uh, feed on her own. She is taking live mice, so I wanna put that on video and show you guys how she's doing. So let's check that out first. This girl recently started to feed on live food, which is a huge relief. I'm not a fan of feeding live food, but the snake has to eat. It's just the way things are. I'm glad I don't have to assist feed her anymore. If you wanna know more about assist feeding, I'll put a link to that video down in the description below. As you can see, she's pretty adept to taking live rodents. Eventually, I'll get this girl switched over to frozen thawed rats. Now onto feeding an adult female. I have a bucket here with thawed medium rat that have been warmed up with hot water. I always dry off the rodent with a towel before offering it to the snake. I've selected to feed this pastel desert ghost I actually tried to film feeding adult females several times and this is the best take. For some reason, they just weren't cooperating. I guess because the snake is so large, the strike sometimes ended off camera and when they did land on camera, the snake would pull the rat into the back of the tub where the camera angle just didn't look good. She should be able to take this medium sized rat easily. Medium rats range between 80 to 175 grams or so. The rat you see here is probably right in the middle of that scale. This girl is around 2000 grams and she can eat a rat at the upper end of that scale if provided. I typically feed adult females once every 10 to 14 days. Of course, if the female is breeding or developing follicles, I'd feed more frequently or perhaps throw a small frozen thawed rat in between each scheduled feeding. Sizing the appropriate prey is best for the snake that can be done using some charts that you can find online or just by experience. I made a video on this topic and I'll put a link to that video in the description below. This female came to me pretty shy but now she's doing really well and I'm hoping she will breed for me this year. I just love how clean she looks and I'm really looking forward to expanding on the desert ghost gene. So that about wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed it or find it helpful, please give me a like. If you're new to this channel and want to be informed of future uploads, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, please share, and I'll see you guys next time.